the water leaves the valve that I showed you earlier. It travels through the pipe underground. It also goes through a one-way check valve. The pump that I'm using is a Gould's water pump. It's a shallow well pump. And it's self-priming. But the way I have the water system set up, the water level is higher than the pump. So it's always going to have uh, water. But this pump doesn't have a backflow check valve. So when it builds pressure, the pump shuts off. The pressure that it built up goes back in the tank. To fix that, you just install a simple $10 one-way check valve which is in the pipe. It just looks like a fitting, or I would show you that. So when you shut off the water, the valve closes and the pressure system stays pressurized. So the water comes into the pump from here, goes, comes in the front, that's an inch and a quarter in, and it feeds out to the rest of the system and then it's one inch out. Out of the pump, and it splits here, goes into the pressure tank. So this pressure tank holds, I think, only about five gallons of water, but there's a big air bladder in here. And you fill that air bladder with 35 pounds of air pressure. Well, that depends on your pump. You fill the air bladder with air pressure. The bladder in here keeps pushing on the water so that your your system has a certain amount of pressure, say 35 pounds. So until this runs all the way out, then once it drops below 35 pounds, your pump comes on and builds this back up again. So you can run 20 gallons of water out of here, even though without your pump coming on. So that makes your pump last a lot longer. So the pump comes on, runs in a cycle, shuts off. So it rarely comes on. Leaving the system, we have a shutoff valve. Then the water splits again. We have fresh drinking water are coming into here, into our first filter. This is just a, a pre-filter. We're trying to get out uh, con large contaminants, and when I say that, I'm talking anything over five microns is filtered by this filter. If your tank has a lot of stuff going into it, you're going to need at least two pre-filters. Or if for some reason your water is excessively dirty, then you're going to want like a, you, depending on the severity, you might want a, a 50 micron or a 20 micron, or you might want a mesh filter, and then your fine filter. Now our water is very clean and it takes a long time for a 5 micron filter to lose flow. This one's been in here several months and it still works fine. So the water also splits and bypasses the filter and that goes out to a garden hose. I don't need to filter my garden hose water. If I want to wash a vehicle or something then I can and, it, and I'm not using any of my filters up. We also just have a little inlet pressure here, so we have 35 pounds coming in. And I have this gauge as a measure of outlet pressure coming off this here. But let's follow the water around. So you go in the first valve, take a pressure reading, go through your filter. Then it comes up, it comes up here and it splits and this is what they call, the filter I use in this is, a, is what I call a final filter. It's a drinking water filter. It's the Rio 2000 six candle filter system. It's also the filter I have in this. So what happens is the water comes out of the pre-filter and then it'll go in both of these filters at the same time, be filtered, and come out at the same time. The reason for that is the real filter systems work exceptionally well. And they will start to, say they start flowing when you first put them in and everything's clean, 
it'll flow at five gallons a minute. Well, it doesn't take long for that to drop to two or three gallons a minute. And when that starts to drop at three gallons a minute, then you notice it in the house. So having two of these doubles my gallons per minute. So now I start off at 10 gallons a minute, which I don't use in the first place. And when it drops down to two or three gallons a minute, I'm really at six gallons a minute. So it more than doubles the length of time you have decent water pressure over using just one filter. Even with a one micron pre-filter, these candle filters filter down to 0.9 microns and they still will get dirty very quickly. So you have this flows into these two filters and you have water flowing out of these filters into the house. It comes out here we have a, a pressure check here, to, and also I have water coming off of my pressure check going to the um, workshop, and I use PEX for that. So this feeds my workshop, and this feeds the house and the cabin, and also lets me check the water pressure. So those, those are manual filters that don't require any electricity. Those are my actual backup filters. I have the valves turned off right now, so no water. The water flows in here, but it can't go past. Under normal circumstances like today, my water comes through the pre-filter, it goes up, it goes into these and stops, but it goes into my UV light and continues on through the water flows through and then out and down and into the house. The UV light is rated for 12 gallons per minute. That's way, way, way more than what we can use in the house. I think our shower head is about 2 gallons a minute. Uh, the sink and whatnot, those, most of those are, are the same. They're fairly low flow. 